We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so everybody and their mama been wanting me to talk about this whole Kathy Griffin situation. I've been following up with this entire situation, honey. When I tell you, I've just been sipping slow because I knew some more shit was coming down the pipeline. So basically what happened is that initially four days ago, Kathy Griffin got into it with Lisa Bloom on social media. They went back and forth on Twitter. And basically Kathy Griffin came out and she said, Dear Lisa Bloom, stop calling me. If you'd like to refund me the tens and thousands of dollars I wasted on your services, maybe I'll talk to you then after that lisa bloom ended up releasing a statement to kathy griffin and this is what lisa bloom had to say so lisa bloom says kathy griffin reached out to me after her trump mass photo posted a few months ago and a few days later i had a press conference with her and her entire team entertainment lawyer criminal lawyer and several others approached me in advance the statement she and i were going to make Yet Kathy then, during the press conference, spontaneously chose to put aside the notes that we had worked so hard on together. And she said on camera, my notes are by the wayside. This is all off the cuff. I was sorry that she made that choice, but I respected her right to speak if she saw fit. She was, as she says then, widely panned for her comments. Now she blames me. She's the only client I've ever had who chose to improvise at a press conference rather than read from the notes that were prepared in advance. I got a lot of death and rape threats afterwards and still do. I know Kathy Griffin has as well, and I'm sure it's unnerving. Kathy has now made a video about how women should stand together, and yet she attacked me, a lifetime women's rights attorney, and not the rest of her team, all of whom were men. This is sad, but I still believe that Kathy Griffin is one of the funniest comics alive, and that she meant no ill will with the photo, and I wish her the best. So that's what Lisa Bloom had to say. And strangely enough, as much as you guys know, I'm not a fan of Lisa Bloom. I think she's nothing more than an ambulance chaser and she's thirsty for fame and celebrity. But she is very right. When they went to do the press conference, Kathy Griffin's messy ass did choose to, you know, basically discard her notes and go off of the cuff. If you see Lisa Bloom's other people that she's represented, like Black China, Kevin Hart's side dish, um, basically those women, they stuck to the script. They read their notes. They followed everything that Lisa Bloom told them to do. Kathy Griffin did not, and she's now trying to blame Lisa Bloom, okay? But that's not where all this drama ends. So after Lisa Bloom basically checked the hell out of Kathy Griffin, she didn't have shit to say. But you know what? Come Sunday, her ass had time, okay? Kathy Griffin was like, you know what? Today I got time because she had time for Lisa Bloom. She had time for Harvey Levin. She had time for Andy Cohen. When I tell you Kathy went on a 17-minute rant on YouTube, the entire situation was a hot damn mess. She let the world don't know today I got time cuz today I got time cuz today I got time cuz you lucky on that day I was acting cool cuz I don't fuck with you cuz you disrespecting me I don't fuck with you cuz you disrespecting me I go hard cuz so after the whole Lisa Bloom debacle four days ago, so now what happened is that over the weekend, Andy Cohen decided to pull a Mariah Carey by saying that he didn't know who Kathy Griffin was. So as we all know, Andy Cohen, um, he's the talk show host for Watch What Happens Live. He's another one who's thirsty for fame. I've called him out in previous videos on how he basically has all these grown women, especially black women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, acting a fool while he sits back and he collects a damn check, okay? So I've been called his ass out I've been caught his ass shady but again when I said that I was being mean you know what I'm saying I had no right to judge him but it is what it is I stand by all my comments concerning Andy Cohen so now Kathy Griffin is learning how shady Andy Cohen is and if you're not making him any money he's not fucking with you so basically what happened is that Andy Cohen was stopped by TMZ and when they were asking him about basically his longtime friend Anderson Cooper and um, Kathy Griffin, they were basically asking about the whole New Year's Eve special. And he spoke very highly of Anderson. You know, he says Anderson can sometimes be a diva to work with. But he basically acted like he had no idea who Kathy Griffin was, even though Kathy Griffin had been working with him for over 10 years. You know, when I tell you the industry is shady, these people are not really friends. It's about money. It's about, you know, putting on a persona. But at the end of the day, they're not really friends. And they will cut each other and backstab 
stab each other so fucking quickly, it will make your head spin. And this is proof of this right here with how quickly Andy Cohen threw Kathy Griffin under the bus. It was so bad that the little young actress, her name is Jashar Arli, she was on the show Blackish. She even had to call out Andy Cohen and she wrote on Twitter, Andy Cohen, who worked with Kathy Griffin at Broward for years, pretends that he doesn't know who she is when asked by TMZ. You know, even the babies are shocked by Andy Cohen's behavior, okay? So anyways, once that video of him talking to TMZ and trying to play crazy went viral, when I tell you Kathy Griffin lost her shit, honey, she went in on social media. She took to YouTube and basically did this 17-minute rant. It was number three trending on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for always trending some bullshit. But when folks speak real shit, you don't make that shit trend now, do you, Okay. Anyways, as you see, this woman literally has more dislikes than likes. I'm going to play you guys a small snippet of what Kathy Griffin had to say. Check this out. Hey, everybody. It's me, Kathy Griffin. And I come to you today with the tale of two Harveys. Not just Harvey Weinstein, TMZ's Harvey Levin. So some of you may have seen a really vicious interview that my former boss, Andy Cohen, my boss of 10 years, did for TMZ. So TMZ is a blog and it's a guilty pleasure and I get it, but unfortunately it's really influential and a lot of people really believe it. So I um, woke up to this voicemail today on my phone. So for those of you that think, you know, I took the picture with the Trump mask and that thing's all over, it's not at all over. It's still going on and in fact, it's gotten worse for me. So this is what I woke up to today. Hey Kathy, it's Harvey Levin, how are you? It's uh... Friday afternoon. If you have a minute, could you give me a call? I am at 818-972-0014. Hope all is well. So that's his number, and I don't have a minute to call him. Maybe you do. The reason I did that is that during the entire like Trump scandal, I was doxxed so much that um, people obviously got my phone number and my address, and uh, the Trumpers came after me. And I just want you guys to know, Harvey Levin, Harvey Levin, a blogger, is very much in bed with everybody from Hollywood to Donald Trump. So um, during my uh, two month investigation, phone numbers got out of uh, my mom and my mom got death threats at her retirement village. And my sister, while she was dying of cancer, got death threats at her apartment. So that's why I'm putting that out there. Now, I know because I did that, I'm probably gonna have this like taken off social media right away or whatever. So I'm actually asking you guys if you can preserve this tape in some way and maybe spread it around, I don't know. Oh, and by the way, Harvey, where the fuck did you get my personal cell number? And who the fuck do you think you are harassing me on my cell phone, calling me directly? Where'd you get my number? Your good friend, Lisa Bloom. And I get it. I know the haters are gonna say, well, if you can't take it, don't dish it out. But I'm a comic, so, you know, if Oprah wants to come for me, I kinda of deserve it. Ryan Seacrest wants to come for me, all right, all right, I have it coming. But Andy Cohen, I didn't call you. You shouldn't have come for me. Let me tell you a little bit about Andy Cohen. He was a miserable boss for all those years. I mean, I think in the six seasons that we did My Life on the D-List, I think Bravo visited the set twice eight Emmy nominations, two wins. I mean, I don't know. I didn't know the whole time I was working there. I didn't know that Andy Cohen like wanted to be me. Like for example, I hosted this award show one time called the A-List Awards. Actually, they did it twice. I didn't know Andy Cohen was on the red carpet, like trying to be funny, asking questions on bravotv.com. I didn't know that when they ended the D-List, and I desperately wanted to do a talk show, Andy Cohen would be the first television executive in the history of television to give himself a talk show that seems to get picked up every season. All right, so you guys just watched a small snippet of Kathy Griffin's um, video, basically calling out Harvey Levin, putting out his phone number, going in on, you know, Andy, talking about how she got all these rape and death threats. She was doxxed, her mother's information was put out there, her sister's information. 
And, you know, while all of that is unfortunate, I feel bad for her. A lot of us have experienced the same thing. But at the end of the day, like I said before, the entertainment industry is just a cesspool, okay? You, you have folks out here getting raped, all types of sexual assault accusations. These fools are best friends one day and worst enemies the next. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about any of these people. Just to be honest with you, I have no dog in this fight. I don't care about Andy Cohen. I don't care about Lisa Bloom. I don't care about Harvey Levin. I don't give a damn about Kathy Griffin and her fake ass crocodile tears that didn't even come down her face, okay? I love how she takes absolutely no no personal responsibility for what she did, okay? The reason why you got all of these threats, the reason why folks came at you, you know what I'm saying, is because of what you did. Instead of blaming Lisa Bloom, instead of blaming Harvey Levin, instead of blaming Donald Trump, Take personal responsibility for your actions. You know what I'm saying? This entire 17 minute video made her look unbelievably pathetic in my personal opinion. This is just another attempt at publicity. You know what I'm saying? This is just another attempt at her trying to play the victim. She is her own worst enemy. And as we all know, she's back on tour. She's claiming that her shows are being sold out, which they probably are because, you know, people love to tear folks down and then they'll turn around and support their fuckery a few months later. You know, it's water under a bridge. So I would not be surprised if her show was selling out but I do think that she's doing this again for publicity and to get people to know about her show so they can come and, you know, find the tea by coming to her live show. You know, at the end of the day, if Lisa Bloom couldn't help you because you keep running your damn mouth and you paid her to represent you, maybe at this point in time, you should follow her advice. You need to stop running your mouth. Stop making videos. Nobody feels bad for you because at the end of the day, you chose to make that puppet. You chose to do the whole beheading. You chose to do that. You knew you would get a reaction. You didn't think that the reaction would be so severe where the FBI would get involved and Interpol would get involved. So it backfired on you. Because again, had you been praised, had people loved what you did, we wouldn't even be here. So because you didn't get the reaction that you expected, that's why you're upset. And I don't feel bad for any of these people. Like I always tell y'all, be careful who y'all look up to. Be careful who y'all worship and idolize. A lot of these people are fake as fuck in Hollywood and will throw each other under the bus quick as hell. The same way Kathy Griffin wasted no time throwing Lisa Bloom under the bus. Andy Cohen, who was her friend for years, honey, she stayed on that man's show. He now acts like he has no idea who she is, okay? And so if Andy Cohen can sit here and throw her under the bus and she's a white woman, Nene Leakes, your ass better wake up while you thinking that Andy Cohen is your best damn friend, okay? As soon as you do some shit that he's not down with, as soon as you're not willing to follow his script, he'll be pulling a Mariah Carey, I don't know her on your black ass as well, okay? So y'all need to wake the hell up. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. In and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.